Welcome back viewers to another video from Duo Comics. We are excited to bring you this video and it is another one of our characters versus another universe's character. Um, this is Superman DC's character versus our character Eclipse. Um, we're excited to bring you this video and um, we hope you enjoy it. As you can see we're going over everything in a black ink pen. Um, and now we're going around and just filling in the ink boundaries um, with color because now we we have a space to color in without um, not being sure or uneasy about where our colors will go. Um, Eclipse's colors are very cool. They are yellow and orange as well as some black in his chest and gray and elsewhere. Um, we're going over some things with marker now just to bring a more full and smooth effect to our drawing. And as you can see, their eclipse is thriving off of um, the solar eclipse's power, and it's feeding his energy. And then there we can see how we went over Superman's cape with the red, making it look more realistic and comic. But also, it makes it deeper, and it makes it very smooth and uniform. Um, we're not just having a bunch of different colors, but at the same time, we kind of are, but we're going over it and then just binding all the colors together um, to make that very smooth red color. Eventually, you'll see that we use the middle of the eclipse as our vanishing point. A vanishing point is just a point on the paper where all the lines will run into. It's not visibly all the lines that are running into it, but if you use buildings, the lines on the buildings will run into it, or um, just specific lines will the lines that generally face the eclipse will run into it if you line it up right with the ruler or um, just kind of shoot from the hip. It doesn't matter. Um, as you can see, we're making the characters, we're making DC's character Superman and, and our character Eclipse above the buildings because they both can fly. Um, to the right, you've seen that we are adding some Kind of characteristic pieces of a building, um, a water tank, a venting system, a skylight. Um, it just makes it very realistic, and if you want a realistic picture, you need that. So if you're going to draw realistically, then you should have that in there, and that's a great thing to have in the picture. Now we're making, or as you have seen, the buildings, their lines on near the edges of them are leading into the middle of the eclipse. Um, to our right and left, we'll be adding some more buildings. Um, and also some little flicks of black that will travel all the way up around and to, towards the um, towards the top of the eclipse. Um, that will create a very in, intense environment, um, a tense struggle between DC's character Superman and our character Eclipse, um, both battling for the sun's control. Um, in the corners and on the sides, we will darken um, the landscape because... Um, in the eclipse, it's not just bright, it's also very dark. But we decided to um, add both because it looks very cool. And you can see the light just a little bit on the buildings because the sun is still bursting from behind the eclipse. And as you can see, now we're adding those buildings on the left and right, making it more of a bigger skyline. And that's what you need to do if you want that. Adding some even taller buildings. I've got my sick bracelet on there. And that looks like that's it. And also in parting, just a quick shout out to Toby. He loves Superman and that's how we drew him. Thanks for watching.